Supreme Court upheld an Arizona law in a 6-3 ruling that bans ballot harvesting and prevents votes from being cast in the wrong polling precinct. All right, just a lot of voter corruption is what that is. Good for the Supremes. Joining us now, Arizona Governor Doug Ducey. Governor, terrific to see you. Congratulations. Actually, I got double congrats. One is on this and the other is on the flat tax. Let me, though, before we dive Thank in. Thank you, Larry. Uh, no, no, it's my great pleasure, and thanks for coming on. Let, let's both listen to what President Biden had to say about this court decision. I am deeply, I'm quoting directly, folks, I'm deeply disappointed in today's decision by the United States Supreme Court that undercuts the Voting Rights Act and upholds what Justice Kagan called a significant race-based disparity in voting opportunities. Uh, Governor Ducey, I say, huh? Since when is harvesting, I mean, this is, they're trying to throw racism at harvesting, and that was never envisioned by any founding father, by anybody in any court, in any election. This is, anyway, you tell me, what is your official governor response to Mr. Biden? Well, in Arizona, we want to make it easy to vote, but hard to cheat, right. if not impossible to cheat. And today's Supreme Court ruling validates that. I think if President Biden wants to focus on election integrity, maybe he should begin in New York City, where they're having all kinds of problems. They've made it actually very difficult to vote, and it looks like it's easy to cheat or to obfuscate what the vote really is. We're proud of elections here in Arizona. I think it shows that you can expand the vote, but you can also secure the vote here and make sure that we don't have people cheating. And that's what this ruling is. I applaud General Brnovich for bringing the suit. I applaud Senator Ugenti Rita for writing the law. Mm. And I give a two thumbs up to the Supreme Court for the right decision. You know, so, uh, Governor, it's just harvesting as a third party to the vote. It used to be I vote or you vote, and we vote using the election bureau, okay? We either pull a lever or we put it down into a slot. This adds a third person harvesting, people who collect lots and lots of ballots and do with it who knows what. I mean, it, to me, this is one of these common sense things, and I think it's crazy the president uh, is on the wrong side of this. Oftentimes, President Biden comments on things that he hasn't been fully briefed on or, or doesn't understand. In Arizona, we want people to have a voter ID, and mm -hmm. they do. We want them to be a citizen. We want them to vote once, and we want them to be alive on the day that they vote. These are common sense things that everybody can embrace, and this should be the elect election integrity protocol across the United States in each of our 50 states. So you want places to quit voting dead people? Is that what you're saying? It's quite remarkable. Yes, we, 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 we that's that's the Chicago way. <laughs> I know that's just what I was thinking. Absolutely, uh, Governor, you got yourself a flat tax. If I understand it, you might have to walk us through. My pal Steve Moore is ecstatic. Uh, he wants to run you. Actually, I want to run you for global tax czar. Given the crap that's going on, we're giving away our sovereignty to the G7 and the G20. But tell us about the new Arizona flat tax, please. A very successful session in Arizona this year, the largest tax decrease in state history. Arizona has the lowest flat tax in the nation at 2.5%. In addition to that, we were able to stave off a 77% scheduled increases on small businesses in Arizona. Arizona is going to remain healthy and dynamic and growing for years to come. We have a, over a billion dollar structural balance in our budget, and we were able to pay $2 billion down in debt. Special thanks to the Arizona State Legislature, to our Republican majorities in both the House and the Senate, and Speaker Rusty Bowers and President Karen Fan. It was an incredibly successful session. Governor Ducey, as I understand it, and I don't know every detail, but um, with tax surcharges and all, you're basically gone from about eight and a half to four and a half percent. So that's a big, big reduction and will surely pay for itself and boost the state's economy. It, it, it's a tax cut for everyone in the state. The majority of people in the state will be at 2.5 percent flat tax. The marginal tax rates for small businesses will be 4.5 percent, mm. and that won't be going up. So it's all good news. And like I said, that 77 percent decrease that we were able to deliver for the taxpayers will allow the backbone of business in Arizona, small business, to continue to thrive. 
Is the economy in Arizona coming back and booming the way it seems to be nationwide? It's booming. It's booming. The reason we were able to do this is because our, our economy is growing at such a, a rapid rate. We have more people working today in Arizona than we did in February of 2020. Mm. We've got companies like Taiwan Semi coming to the state of Arizona, Lucid Motors, Nikola, Electrica Mechanica, uh, the electric vehicle hub semiconductors. Our economy's been diversified and transformed. Today in Arizona, we have more manufacturing jobs than we do in construction jobs in a booming housing economy. So Arizona's hot. Arizona's hot. You got yourself a flat tax and you got yourself fair election laws. That's a pretty good trifecta, Governor Ducey. We appreciate it. Happy July 4th weekend, sir. Thank you,